In this video, we're going to be looking at how to graph linear inequalities. And graphing linear inequalities is going to be pretty similar to graphing linear equations. However, since we have an inequality symbol rather than an equal sign, we're just going to have a few extra components that we need to think about when graphing. So the first thing I want to do is just take a step back and review each of these symbols. Okay, So this symbol looks like an L. So this inequality symbol stands for less. That's how I like to remember it. So this symbol means less than. This also looks like an L, but it has the extra line underneath. And that line changes the meaning to less than or equal to. This inequality symbol is greater than. And then finally, this inequality symbol with the line underneath is greater than or equal to. Okay. Now, when I have a graph, right, let's say I plotted a line. If I want values that are going to be less than those on the line, I'm talking about values that are below that line, right? So for whenever we have a less than symbol for inequality, we're going to shade below the line. Okay, Same thing is going to hold true when we have less than or equal to. Let me just put these in a different color. Now when I'm talking about values that are greater than those on the line, I would want to be shading above the line. Because okay? I'm talking about values that are larger. So now I know which way I'm going to shade. An extra component with these graphs are when we need to decide if our line is going to be solid or if our line is going to be dashed. So a dashed line tells us not to include the points on that line, and a solid line tells us to include the points on the line. So if I am looking at the symbol less, I only want values that are less than those on that line. So I'm going to have a dashed line. I don't want to include the values on that line, only the values that are smaller than those on the line. Same thing for greater than. I don't want to include the values on that line, only values that are larger than those on the line. For less than or equal to, I want a solid line. I have the or equal to component. I want to include what's on that line and addition everything below it. And the same thing is going to hold true for greater than or equal to. All right, now that we have the background, let's go into an example and actually graph an inequality. So for this problem, we have y is less than or equal to negative 1 third x plus 1. Again, let's recall back to linear equations that were in the form y equals mx plus b. We had two very important components. The B was the y-intercept, otherwise known as your starting point. And your M was your slope. So looking at this equation over here, my y-intercept is 1. Okay, I'm going to just put this over here actually so we have some more space. And my slope is is negative 1 over 3. Okay. Now my y-intercept is my starting point. So on my graph, I'm going to head over to 1 on the y-axis and put a dot. And our slope is negative 1 over 3. So the numerator again, we either move up or down. And the denominator, we either move right or left. Because remember, a slope represents a rate of change, and it's rise over run. So since the 1 is negative, I'm going to be moving down. And since the 3 is positive, I'm going to be moving right. So I'm going to go back to my y-intercept. I'm going to go 1 down, and 1, 2, 3, right. 1 down, 1, 2, 3, right. 
I want to have more points, I can also go in the opposite direction. I could go one up and one, two, three left, one up and one, two, three left. Now let's take into consideration all the components we had over here. So since this is a less than or equal to inequality, I want to make sure that I have a solid line connecting my points. Since I only want values less than or equal to this line, imagine if I was on this point, if I wanted something less than it, I would move below, right? So I'm just coloring below the line. And that's how you would graph this inequality. So let's look at another example of graphing linear inequalities. This example is gonna be similar to the previous one, but it's gonna be a bit more involved. And the reason this one's a bit more involved is because we're given an inequality in standard form. Because remember, we like our equations in y equals mx plus b form. Same thing holds with inequalities. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. This is going to cancel. And I'm left with negative 5y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 10. Again, I didn't combine these. They're not like terms. And I wrote my x term first because I like to have my slope first because it's mx plus b. Now my next step to get y alone is I'm going to divide by negative 5. I want to make sure I divide everything on this side by negative 5. So now y is going to be alone. But since I divided by a negative, okay, I'm going to flip my inequality. So instead of being less than or equal to, it's going to become greater than or equal to. You do this whenever you divide by a negative number or whenever you multiply by a negative number. Right? So now I have negative 2x over negative 5. That's going to become positive 2 fifths x. And 10 divided by negative 5 is negative 2. So now I can go ahead and graph this. And I identify my key features. So my y-intercept or my starting point is negative 2. My slope is 2 fifths. Okay. Once again, slope is rise over run, up slash down, right, over right or left. So since the 2 is positive, I will move up. Since the 5 is positive, I will move right. So to graph this, I'm going to start at my y-intercept, going to negative 2 on the y-axis. I'm going to go up 2, right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 2. I can't fit 5. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go down 2, left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. This inequality is greater than or equal to. I have that or equal to part, so I'm going to do a solid line through these points. I want values that are greater than or equal to this, right? So if I was at this point and I want something greater, I would move above the line. So this is what I'm going to shade. And that's how you graph linear inequalities.